Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Samsung Gear S without a Samsung phone. So a lot of people think you need a Samsung phone in order to set this up because it pretty much tells you that you need one. However, a great hidden feature to this device is you do not need a Samsung phone because you can in fact use this as a standalone device. If you just need a second line, if you need a watch maybe for a kid uh, and you don't wanna spend that much a month, well carriers offer this anywhere from five bucks to 20 bucks a month. So you can just buy this and the kid can just use this as for phone calls and text messages. All right, so let's find out how to do this. So first of all, it all comes from this little watch icon. So what you're gonna do uh, basically is tap this around 25 to 30 times and then you're gonna have a little icon pop up about the Bluetooth. As soon as that pops up, you let go. You don't tap the screen anymore. Once it's gone, you're going to hold down the watch icon and then tap the middle of the screen as so. You can basically tap anywhere on the screen, but the middle of the screen is just a nice, easy place to tap. All right, so let's see this uh, in action. So we're just gonna continue to tap this. And there we go. And now we're gonna hold this down and then tap the main part of the screen. And there we have it. And there you go, you have to the welcome screen so you got through it without ever needing a Samsung device. So that is how you do it and now this watch is ready to go. As a standalone, now you just need to activate it with the SIM card uh, or if you're uh, in another carrier that doesn't need a SIM card, you're already active. All right guys, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.